One of the most anticipated astronomical events is the Baljiu supernova, located on the famous shoulder of Orion. Baljiu is a red supergiant star nearing the conclusion of its life. Strangely, in 2019, Baljiu, one of the brightest stars in the sky, began to fade. The fading was so noticeable that it could be seen even without special optics. For a few months, Baljiu dimmed until observers began to wonder if the star had died. When scientists focused their most powerful telescopes on the red giant star, they were shocked to see evidence of the great dimming, even though the star's brightness had returned to normal after a few months. This star is about to blow up as its life cycle comes to an end. When and why might a supernova happen? And will it have disastrous consequences for Earth? Let's look into it. The brilliant ruby red star Baljus is located in the upper right shoulder of the winter constellation Orion the Hunter. You may know it better by its alternative name, Alpha Orionis, but it is the second brightest star in the constellation, directly behind the blue supergiant Rigel. Baljiu is an interesting target for astronomers to observe and study because of its variable behavior and peculiar name. Alpha stars are usually the brightest in their constellation, and this is true even though Rigel, Orion's other great star, is brighter. Due to its name, brightness, size, and reddish color, Baljiu, also known as Alpha Orionis, is one of the most famous stars in the sky. It is the 10th brightest star in the sky and the 7th brightest star visible from most of North America, Europe, and Canada. Baljus comes from an Arabic word that means the armpit of the giant, which is a frequent interpretation of the name. Baljus's actual distance from Earth is unknown. However, scientists believe it to be anywhere from 430 to 724 light years. To put it simply, Baljus is the brightest and closest red supergiant star to Earth. There are just about 200 red giant superstars known to exist in the Milky Way. Baljus is 16 times the size of the Sun, emits 126,000 times as much light as the Sun, and is visible from a distance of 548 light years. It is cooler than the Sun, with a surface temperature of 3,600 Kelvin. Around Baljus, just about 133% of its total radiant energy is made up of visible light. Baljus would be more luminous than Sirius if we could perceive light at all wavelengths. It is estimated that Baljus is around 764 times the sun's radius in diameter. If this star were to take over as the sun of our solar system, its influence would extend past Jupiter and the asteroids. This would result in the complete engulfment of Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus. Baljus, a red star, loses about one solar mass every 10,000 years as material is ejected unevenly from the star in all directions resulting in a nebula surrounding the red star. The nebula surrounding Baljus is roughly 30 astronomical units, or 30 times the distance between the Sun and Earth, and is 250 times larger than the star itself. At its center, a star's hydrogen atoms fuse together under the influence of gravity, producing helium in a nuclear explosion. Heat and light are two forms of energy that are often released in abundance during the fusion process. This vitality makes its way to the surface of the star, where it is eventually discharged as a photon into the cosmos. Eventually, the star will run out of its primary fuel, hydrogen, and will have to rely on helium and carbon for combustion. When all the helium has been consumed, neon will react with carbon to produce iron. When this occurs, the energy released by the fusion of neon and iron is absorbed. As iron begins to burn within the star, its high gravity causes it to collapse in on itself, triggering a supernova explosion, powering 10 billion suns. A supernova is one of nature's most powerful explosions. Depending on their age and evolutionary stage, stars emit light of varying wavelengths and temperatures, resulting in a spectrum of colors, from the blue of the youngest stars to the red of the oldest. According to Ptolemy, a Greek scholar who lived from 90 to 168 AD, Baljus's color was oddly described as ruddiness. However, ancient Chinese astronomers noted that Baljus appeared yellow, suggesting that it may have been a yellow supergiant in the past. Larger stars often burn through their hydrogen fuel more quickly, leading to their eventual demise even if they are just roughly 10 million years old. Unquestionably, Baljus is in its latter stages of existence. However, at over 5 billion years old, our sun is still going strong. The star Baljus is nearing the end of its existence, which means it may go supernova at some point. However, the exact timing of this occurrence is hotly contested. There are two cycles of dimming and brightening that occur on Baljus the second of which occurs every five years and lasts for about 100 days. There's an assumption that the star's outer shell expands and contracts over this cycle, causing the star's diameter and average temperature to change at each stage. A lot of people paid attention to Baljus because of its erratic dimming in 2019 and 2020, 
followed by a temporary recovery to its usual brilliance. Some astronomers have speculated that it could mean the star is dying. Extensive study of Bal juice dates back to the 1st century BC. Nonetheless, the cause of its sudden and atypical waning remains unknown. Bal juice was detected speeding across the interstellar medium at a rate of 30 km per second after being ejected from its home in the Orion OB1 Association, which contains the stars in Orion's belt. The bow shock from this speeding star spans over four light years across. Distances to red supergiant stars like Bal juice are notoriously difficult to calculate in astronomy. Many factors make it hard to calculate Bal juice's real diameter. The star of Bal juice changes over time since it's a pulsating star. As a result of limb darkening, the star's visual emissions change color and fade away as one moves away from its center. When trying to define Bal juice's photosphere, it's important to account for the circumstellar envelope, which is made up of material emitted from the star and emits and absorbs light. It's tricky to make direct comparisons between observations due to the star's apparent size changing with wavelength. Finally, Bal juice's dimming has halted, and it may once again become the tenth brightest star in the night sky. Bal juice, despite its great distance, is one of the brightest stars in the sky, shining at almost 100,000 times the brightness of the sun keeping up with Bal juice's enormous energy demands requires rapid fuel combustion, which hastens the star's destruction. When the star runs out of fuel and collapses under its own weight, it will explode into a spectacular supernova. Then, for a period of several weeks to months, Bal juice will become extremely bright, perhaps approaching full moon levels. It will become visible even during the day. If so, when can we expect it? We probably won't see that happen in our lives, but nobody knows for sure. It may happen tomorrow, or it could happen a million years from now. Will Earth be destroyed by the Bal juice supernova? Since Bal juice is so far away from Earth, its explosion won't kill or even severely disrupt life here. According to astronomers, the safest distance from a supernova for human life is 50 light years, making Bal juice over 10 times more distant. Instead, everyone on Earth will get a show when a very bright star suddenly appears in the sky. Please share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching this video until the end. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more. We have another interesting video ready for you. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on another incredible space adventure.